Hello children, welcome back to Lockdown Storytime with me, Mrs Gurr. Today's story has been written and illustrated by the same author. The author's name is M. P. Robertson and today's story is The Egg. George knew something wasn't right when he found more than he'd bargained for under his mother's favourite chicken. He moved the egg to the warmth of his bedroom. For three days and three nights, he read the egg stories. On the third night, the egg started to rumble. Something was hatching. And it definitely wasn't a chicken. When the dragon saw George, it gave a chirrup of delight. George didn't speak dragon, but he knew exactly what the dragon had said. Mummy! George had never been a mother before, but he knew that it was his motherly duty to teach the dragon dragony ways. The first lesson he taught was the fine art of flying. The second lesson was fire and how to breathe it. The third lesson was how to distress a damsel. And the final lesson was how to duff a knight. Every evening, as all good mothers should, George read the dragon a bedtime story. One night, as he read a book of dragon tales, the dragon looked longingly at the pictures. A sizzling tear rolled down his scaly cheek. The dragon was lonely. He was missing his own kind. The next morning, the dragon had gone. George was very sad. He thought he would never see his dragon again. But seven nights later, he was woken by the beating of wings. Excitedly, he pulled back the curtains. There, perched in the tree, was the dragon. George opened the window and clambered onto his back. They soared into the night chasing the moon around the world, over oceans and mountains and cities. Faster and faster they went until they came to a place that was neither north nor south, east nor west. They swooped down through the clouds into a cave that gaped like a dragon's jaws. This was the place where dragons lived. The dragon gave a roar of delight. He was home at last. Finally, it was time for George to leave. Up, up they flew, chasing sleep through the night until they could see his home below. George hugged his dragon tight and the dragon gave a roar. George didn't speak dragon, but he knew exactly what the dragon had said. Thank you. Thank you for joining me for Mrs Gurr's story time. Bye. Year one, we have two learning tasks for you. Learning task one, a new species of dragon. We want you to design and draw a new kind of dragon. Think about what colour it would be. Will it breathe fire or maybe something else? Will it have horns or spikes or even both? Will it have scaly or smooth skin? What colour eyes will it have? Draw your finished design on the special sheet in your pack. To help you with your ideas, you can look at the Pinterest page created by the actual author, M. P. Robertson. 
The link is in the description below. If you can't get online or for extra help, use the information and the picture sheet in your pack to help you with your ideas. Learning task two. Email or send a message on Teams to Mrs Snape with some ideas about. A name for your dragon. Let's have a think. Um, blue mountain dragon or red spiky dragon. Where does your dragon live? It might live in tall trees, at the top of mountains, in warm oceans or somewhere else. What does your dragon like to eat? Live rats, dead frogs, pig's tails, bird's eyeballs. Just send a few ideas today as Mrs Snape wants to use them in her live lesson tomorrow. We are both looking forward to learning all about your new species of dragon. Have fun!